Welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. George Wright III here with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. And today, today we're going to be talking about leadership. We're going to be talking about the qualities it takes to really be a true influencer in the world. But I want to start you out with the quote of the day, and it's from Les Brown. I always love getting quotes in the mix from Les Brown. And his quote is, goals help you channel your energy into action. Think about that for a minute. Your goals help you channel your energy into action. And that's a lot of times what we miss, right? You may even have a goal, but you don't have a plan. But this, this, this idea that we can motivate ourselves and inspire ourselves at the end of the year here really just, I, I tell you, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to do this planning we've been talking about. And I'm glad we had a quote by Les Brown. I have so many great experiences with Les Brown. I remember bringing him out to Utah to be able to meet up with my executive team. Um, obviously, we've, we've had him speak for, for me many, 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 many times over the years. Um, I'm about due to get him on the podcast as well, so I'll, I'll make an effort to do that here the first of the year. But what a great individual. Sometimes I'll find myself just pulling over to a, a YouTube channel with Les in the background that guy is just a classic. He's, he's absolutely one of the best motivators and inspirers that I know. And we'll try to do more with him this next year. So listen, as you create your vision and your life and your future uh, this coming year, I think it's very important to always have perspective and filters you place on that. And I know many of you that listen to this podcast, you're influencers, you're high achievers, you're, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a professional, a CEO, or an entrepreneur. We're all leaders in different areas of our lives. Um, you might even be a leader in your home. You might be a leader in your community, in your church, in your business. But what separates a great leader from an average leader or a manager or a professional or a parent or a, a, a brother, sister, cousin, whatever it is? What truly helps someone to become an influencer and have that ability to inspire and motivate and grow people around them? Because I'm telling you right now, if you want greater success and happiness and fulfillment in your life, you need to prioritize leadership. Leadership is not something you're born into. Leadership is something that you master. It's something that you create. It's something that you develop. Leadership skills and qualities and, and characteristics. And I, I love the content that John C. Maxwell does on leadership. And today what I thought I'd do is I would highlight, he wrote a book a while back. I've got several copies of it. And it's called The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader. And what I want to do, I'm going to take you through those 21 qualities of a leader. And my goal is not to necessarily cover these in depth. My goal is just to really outline them, to inspire you with the topics and the particular qualities. So it'll give you some framework as you develop your plan. And, and the reason I do this is that sometimes we think of leadership in a general sense. And we forget all of the parts that make up becoming a leader. And so what this will do is it'll give you an exercise to sort of, you know, identify in your life where the areas are that you could use more help with, more focus with, more awareness of. And I think you're going to get a lot out of it. So let me, let me just kind of go through these laws. I'll give you a couple of thoughts. I'll go through, and you can really just in your mind, I want you to be thinking about yourself here. Which of these have you really applied which of these could you do better at this next year? And, and before I get started with those, I just want to read you a quick little phrase from John, uh, John Maxwell. And I think it kind of sets the tone, really, for what I want to do with you today. He says, everything rises and falls on leadership. And leadership truly develops from the inside out. If you can become the leader you ought to be on the inside, you'll be able to become the leader you want to be on the outside. People will follow you. People will want to follow you. And when that happens, you'll be able to tackle anything in the world. And this goes back to the idea that I talk about so much is that I truly believe success is to be attracted by the person that you become. And developing your inner game is going to help you to create all the results in your outside world. Remember, money, results, uh, you know, lifestyle, all the things that you want in your goals, that's all a result. That's not the cause. That's a result. And to create the result, you've got to develop your inner game. You've got to develop those qualities and traits that help you to become the leader that will get the results that you're looking to do. So let's kind of go through this list. It's going to be kind of a, a quick run through given our time constraints. 
But think about each one of these, and I encourage you to go back and just think about each one of these areas and what you can do um, to make a difference in these areas to develop your leadership abilities and your skills. The first one is character. Character is such an important cornerstone of being a leader. The second one is charisma. Charisma, energy, that's your first impression. That can really make a difference in your abilities to create results as a leader, your charisma. The third one is commitment. We've talked about this before, but the commitment is what Maxwell says separates the doers from the dreamers. Commitment. The fourth one is communication. Communication, he says, without it, you'll travel alone. Communication is a real key skill that you need to develop. The fifth quality is competence. Competence. When you're a competent leader, people will surround you and people will follow you. The sixth quality is courage. You know, a person with courage really can accomplish a lot of things in life. Courage is what really creates change in the world. The seventh quality is discernment. I really love this one as a leader because discernment is your ability to, to, to trust in your instincts and to be able to create direction. And, and I think that discernment is a really important one for you to think through. The eighth quality is focus. Obviously, a leader's got to be focused. The sharper and the more narrow your focus is, the more results you're going to get. Number nine is generosity. I love that as a leader because he, he, Maxwell says, your candle loses nothing when it, when it lights another. Generosity is absolutely one of those laws that will bring back to you, you know, 10 times the return. The 10th quality of a leader is initiative. Initiative is important no matter what level you're at, whether you're an employee, a professional, a CEO, or an owner. Taking the initiative will very quickly move you up the ranks of success. The 11th quality of a leader is listening. We've heard that before, right? To connect to their hearts, you need to use your ears. And you have two ears and one mouth for a reason, so listening is important. Passion is number 12. Passion is something that will help you to get the most out of life, and passion is that magnetic energy that people want to be around. When you're passionate about what you're doing, people want to be around you, and at the same token, you're happy and fulfilled. The 13th quality is positive attitude. Do you have a positive attitude? Do you believe that what you say you can do, you can do? Because if you believe it, you can do it. A positive attitude will take you a long way. Number 14 is problem solving. Problem solving. You know, are you asking for less problems or are you asking to be bigger than your problems? You can't let your problems be the problem in your life. Problem solving is a definite character trait to work on. Number 15 is relationships. If you get along, they'll go along. Relationships are important. You know, I have always struggled with relationships. I'll be really, really honest with you. But the priority that I put on relationships at this stage in my life is, is massive. And it's in direct proportion to the amount of influence that you're going to have. The 16th quality of a leader is responsibility. If you won't carry the ball, you can't lead the team. You've got to be able to take the responsibility, but you've also got to be willing to do the work. Okay, number 17 is security. Security. Competence never compensates for insecurity. What we're talking about is your confidence, which grows from self-esteem. Security is so important as a leadership quality. Number 18 is self-discipline. Self-discipline is absolutely going to be a difference maker between you and everyone around you. And people are drawn to people that have solid discipline and self-discipline. So make that a strong character trait. Number 19, the quality of servanthood. Service is going to be one of those things that we don't necessarily think about, but you've got to start to prioritize. To get ahead, you've got to put others first. That's the difference between a manager or a professional and a true, true leader is they put other people first and their needs first. The 20th quality of a leader is teachability. I think um, I found over time that the people that have progressed the most in life are the most teachable. I've had six, seven, eight, nine-figure earners 
that are amazing and, and, and are always taking notes and learning and growing. And that's what puts them on top. That puts them on top. So teachability. And the final quality and indispensable quality of a leader is vision. Is vision. Because you can only seize what you can see. You can only go after what's clear. And that is so important. So these are these 21 laws. I encourage you to check the book out, um, go into some detail. John gives some great stories and whatnot. But I want to add a couple of thoughts to this as I let you go here today. As you're planning out your year, do what you can to prioritize, visualize, create affirmations. If you create an identity around leadership, you're going to build and grow on the inside, and you're going to attract to you the right people that are going to want to follow you, that are going to want to help you to create your goals, and you'll be able to help them accomplish their goals. Just remember, leadership is not a title. Leadership is not control. It's not power. It's influence. It's inspiring people. It's helping others, and as a result, getting what you're trying to accomplish. Keep gratitude in your heart, especially this type time of year. Be grateful for the opportunities you have, the opportunities you have to serve, the opportunities you have to grow and teach and learn and help other people. And here's an amazing secret that you can, you can use as, as we finish our, our thought here. This is, this is so great if you think about it. Leadership and developing the qualities of leadership and the results that come with leadership will indirectly bring you greater fulfillment and happiness in your life. When you become a powerful leader, you will create more passion in your life, more purpose in your life, more fulfillment, and more happiness. And that's my hope for you. That's my wish for you. And that's my promise for you if you'll develop your leadership abilities. That's the message I have for you today. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and talking with you on our 500th episode. So have an amazing day. And this is George Wright III, and this has been The Daily Mastermind. Talk to you soon.